And now a look at why there will soon be more choices available when it comes to car repairs. Thanks, Bev. Ottawa has given the green light to new legislation that may change the auto repair industry. A bill passed last night amends the current Competition Act, and it forces automakers to disclose basic repair codes. That means car owners may not have to go to their dealership, and that people will have more options when it comes to who fixes their cars. Joining us now from Windsor is the sponsor of that bill, New Democratic Party MP Brian Massey. Good to have you on the show. Good morning. Thanks First for having me. First of all, me. congratulations. That is quite a feat getting a private member's bill. Uh, through Parliament, let alone a, a minority uh, Parliament. Uh, how were you able to do that? Well, we just worked on the issue, and uh, it still has a ways to go, but uh, it was actually a very exciting night because we had two other NDP private members' business uh, actually get through, one on veterans, another one on a passenger bill of rights. So it was an exciting evening for us. Now, you, you traveled across the country advocating for this bill. Were you surprised uh, for, uh, about how big a problem this was? Yeah, it was really interesting. I was approached about this issue about four years ago and uh, started looking into it and then also traveled across the country to hear from the independent uh, repair facilities. And what I found was that actually, um, you know, for them to be keeping modern and to actually fix vehicles, uh, they were getting restricted information, whether it be from software, training, or tools, or equipment. Uh, so they couldn't actually fix vehicles and have to have, actually have to have them towed to uh, dealerships. Uh, and it, interestingly enough, even some of those uh, association members, those independent ones, were sending Canadian people to the United States to get training, the equipment, to bring it back here to Canada because uh, in the United States they've actually solved this problem to many degrees, but here in Canada we were, we were being treated differently by the companies. Are all the manufacturers, uh, were all the manufacturers, I guess, keeping those repair codes to themselves or were some open about them and some not? Some are open. General Motors, is a, in particular, was a better uh, organization, but it really was a dog's breakfast at the end of the day. And so what we're trying to do here is create a rules-based system. So uh, nothing's asked for for free, and there's nothing that we want to do with intellectual property to give that away. What we're asking for is a system where uh, an independent uh, facility can purchase that software or that training or equipment uh, and then be able to fix the vehicle. So there's a rules-based system in the United States based upon the Clean Air Act, right. uh, and it creates an operating agreement. Uh, similar here in Canada, we're trying to change the system to have uh, that is uh, in place because we want to make sure that there's going to be choice for consumers and also vehicles when they're on the road they're actually going to be more efficient when they're repaired more often and also public safety because uh, if you have to travel hundreds of kilometers unnecessarily to get your vehicle fixed somewhere uh, you got a vehicle on the road that isn't as uh, as worthy as it should be in terms of uh, its maintenance so bottom line is now independent mechanics can just basically go to let's say a GM or a Honda or a Toyota and say can I you know I'll pay you X amount of dollars and, and then I can download whatever software I need in order to repair the car yeah, there's, a, there's actually systems up available. There's a couple of them available where they go actually on the net, for example, um, and be able to download and pay that. Now, interestingly enough, in the United States, they have a much more advanced system, and that's where, you know, I'm here in Windsor, Ontario, where two miles across the river, uh, I could get information to fix my vehicle over there or bring it to an independent facility um, and, and done by a technician who isn't even trained as much in Canada where mm -hmm. it's restricted over here uh, in my own neighborhood. So uh, that's what we're trying to do is to create that system that's, uh, that's going to be fair and accessible to all. Brian, thank you very much. Good to talk to you. Thanks for having me this morning. Coming up